welcome to Stephen Milner's photography YouTube channel. I'm down here in National Park in the central uh, region of New Zealand, North Island. And you'll see just in the background here, Mount Rupay. And then just a little bit more over. And then just here, just behind the trees, is Tongariro. Three volcanoes. Still active. Very much so. This one, blue, 1995, and this one over here, Tongariro, blue in 2012. So not much activity recently, but yeah. So I'm down here for the next couple of days, planning to spend three days on the mountain doing landscape photography. I've got my alpine tent and supplies for enough days, so I'm going to just go up to just just above the snow line, I'm going to spend one night there. That's tonight, and then tomorrow night I'm going to go all the way up to the top and spend the night in the crater on the top. And then on the next day I'm just going to come straight back down. So I'm hoping I'm going to get some really beautiful light. I mean, today is a beautiful day. Blue skies, there's no wind. Perfect mountaineering conditions really. And yeah, so I'll see you up there. So I just got the bus from the park and ride, 30 minute bus ride up the, up the mountain. On the way through we passed through Faka Papa. That's right, it said Faka Papa. Interesting little place on the side of the mountain. It's a ski resort this, really. Plenty of people skiing today. So Faka Papa is quite a special place to me. It's where me and my wife got married <coughs> last year. Anyway, oh, so I just wanted to do a little message. Just because I'm out here today on my own doesn't mean that I'm saying that anybody and everybody should do this. If you want to do something like this, I really advise that you uh, do some training or you go out with some people that do this. You know, moving around in an environment like this is, is quite dangerous sometimes. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, you can get yourself into trouble. So yeah, I've just sat down, just Got my crampons on, so I don't slip. I've got my ice axe. Not really that I'm doing anything technical today, but it's just to help if, if I slip, then I can stop myself from sliding off the mountain. And I've got my helmet, just in case I fall over as well. So yeah, we'll get moving. Just stopped here for a minute <clears throat> just to show you this view this is incredible it's so clear today that you can just about here see mount taranaki which is the other north island volcano awesome
Ooh. Currently here at 2,000, just over 2,200 meters. <clears throat> There's a slightly change of plan. I was uh, looking around further down there and I wasn't really liking any of the compositions. There's quite a lot of ski marks and just general, you know, human, human disturbance along the snow. So I decided to venture up a bit further up the mountain. But I started off quite early this morning. It's currently about half two. Sunset's at half six, so I've still got plenty of time. The summit's 2,700. Uh, the crater's probably about 2,500. So I could probably do the summit today. And maybe do something different tomorrow. So, yeah. Summit's just about here. You can see the weather's still pretty good. Some clouds just rolling in behind me. They're not too big. I'm not too worried about that. I know there's good weather tomorrow. And here, if you can see behind us, it's the Pinnacle Range, Mount Narihoe, and Tongariro. I'm thinking that if I head up, kind of up here, I'm going to get an amazing view of these mountains for sunset because the sun's going to set over there. Hmm, options. Anyway, for now, I'm just going to continue a bit further up here. It's nice and flat up here, so when I want to pitch my tent, it could be quite nice there. Still get a good aspect from the from here over the mountains. Anyway, keep going. just about 2,400 meters and it is absolutely beautiful. It is so peaceful. I'll just be quiet for a minute. You can't hear it, I think. So I've decided to pitch my tent here tonight. I'm only about <coughs> 2,400 meters. So I'm not actually that far from the summit. I'm getting a bit tired and I'm hungry and I found a few compositions that I think can work. Some really interesting details in the snow around here from with the wind over the last couple of weeks. I'm just thinking there's some nice detail here leading into this mountain here and then there's some peaks here nice 
S curves and shapes. So the sun's going to set just behind me here. So I'm hoping that I'm going to get some really nice light on that mountain. Some pink hues. And then for sunrise, I've got another chance. The sun's going to rise from this direction. So there's a couple of options here that I can think I can work with. Some really nice high level cloud as well. So if I'm lucky, I might get a red, red sky as well. Maybe if this cloud clears as well, I might get some stars, do some astrophotography. Maybe. Anyway, I'm just going to pitch my tent here. I've got an alpine tent, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm going to have to dig down a couple of inches just in case the wind gets up so it doesn't blow underneath the tent. And I've got some snow anchors to make sure I get blown off the mountain which you know is probably quite important. So yeah, I'm going to get into that. I'll see you soon. Whew. Well, the lot of the light is going. It's beautiful up here. Really nice light, reflective light just bouncing off the snow. <sighs> I didn't manage to really get a great shot of Mount Narihoe. But there's these really interesting lines you can just see just here leading up to the top so i've been taking a few photos there the last the last of the light is going now so this is going to be the last photo so yeah here we go fujifilm xc1 16 to 55 currently at f.8 i've got a three stop soft grad nd filtering yeah here we go We've had a one to two second exposure. Maybe a bit more than two seconds. It's just beautiful. Anyway, that's me for today. I'm gonna. Ah. Get in my tent, have some food, and get up in the morning for sunset. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.